hello guys welcome back to the next tutorial so this is kind of the last one for the method section what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the exercise that I created for you guys so basically just consider this as your homework and I'm gonna show you maybe pause the video stop it and after that so let me just let me just bring up the PDF and so after that so this is the exercise I'm gonna go over it so after that when I explain the question just try it just try to implement this in Python in your IDE and then once you try it if you have any difficulties then just proceed on the video because I'm gonna show the solution also in the same video so let's go ahead let's talk about it so the purpose is we're gonna find the tax in United States based on the state where you live so this is kind of a thing that we wanna do and we're gonna assume few things this this is not a real exercise for the tax department so don't worry about the rates and assumptions we're gonna assume few things so the task is that create a method which takes the state the name of the state where you live and the gross income that you make as the arguments so it, it basically takes two arguments and then it's gonna return the net income after deducting tax based on the state so it's gonna deduct the tax of the state tax and the federal tax as well and it's gonna return you the net income after that and we're gonna assume the federal tax rate as 10% which is crazy I know if it is that then everybody could be happy <laughs> but let's assume it and assume the state tax on your wish whichever you want so if, in fact you're free to assume the federal tax as well it's just a guideline and because we're just exercising we don't have to consider all the states you can just take three to four to just solve the purpose of the exercise so that's pretty much it guys I would say I recommend you guys to either pause the video or just close it for right now and then practice on your own and then return back to take a look at the solution so let's start with the solution guys uh, so basically if you see this uh, page as well the PDF on the next page you're gonna find the complete solution as well so but I'll not grow through on the PDF I'll just open the PyCharm so we can take a look and more better coding style right so this is PyCharm the file will be definitely attached so you guys can see always the exercise is there as well so let's take a look what we did is we created a method called calculate net income and I'm just trying to do so in this one you're gonna learn pretty much lot of things not just methods I have kind of uh, keep things in mind that I want to show multiple stuff in these things so you guys can understand a lot of concepts and you can test your lot of concepts knowledge that you already gained in this course so the first thing is take a look at the naming convention so I'm using camel case for the methods you guys can use the underscores and all small depending on the preference whichever you like uh, and then in the method I take two arguments first one is the gross which is the income right and state it could be either way doesn't matter the uh, the sequence it could be either way the order doesn't matter and then we have the doc string so we mentioned that this calculate the net income after federal and state tax right so it's always good to put the description of your methods that's always recommended at least I would always recommend it because I like my code to be easy to understand by anyone then it takes parameters so uh, at the, this is param the gross param is gross income and the state so a small description about the param the parameters and the state name and it returns the net income right so let's then define our state tax so as I said we're gonna assume few things so state tax value I'm creating a dictionary if you see so we use the concept of dictionaries as well so CA is the key and the state tax is late let's say 10% for NY I'm putting 9% for Texas I'm putting 0 as I think it's 0 in Texas and for NJ it's 6% so basically it's all arbitrary values there's nothing for real I'm just putting our values making up all these things so we have utilized the concept of dictionary here and we're gonna see how we can use it so first thing we know that the federal tax was 10% we already talked about it so we can do one thing that calculate the net income after federal tax the first thing we can do so from the gross income what we need to do is we need to uh, find out the 10% of gross income and then deduct it from my gross income so I, what I would be left is the 
kind of a intermediate net income after deducting the federal tax right so gross income minus gross multiplied by 0 0.10 so 0 0.10 comes from 10 divided by 100 because it's 10 percent so if i deduct this thing from cross i would be left with the net income which is after federal tax deduction right then we will be left with the task to calculate the income after state tax right so we are here after that what we want to do is we want to go in the dictionary called state tax and we want to find that whatever state we provided does it exist in the dictionary right basically someone can provide a wrong state as well which is not even in united states right so for that we want to print it the message something like state not in the list or incorrect state please provide a correct value something like that so what we're gonna we're gonna do is we're gonna find out if state the state that we uh, took as the argument state in state tax so it's gonna look for the keys in the dictionary so if it finds the state that we provided in the state tax dictionary then it moves forward and then it finds the thing right so what it does is then we have a net income already so from this only we need to detect the rest of the thing right now we're not working with the cross anymore so from the net income we want to deduct this state this expression right and this expression is from the gross income we want to calculate what the state tax is so we will access the value of uh, percentage for the particular state so this state tax and the key is going to give me the value so basically if i provide ca here basically this so it's going to give me 10 and then i'm going to divide it with 100 so it gives us 10 percent and then we multiply the cross with 10 percent and then whatever statement comes in will be deducted from the net because we already have something after calculating the federal tax so we still whatever we want to deduct is from the net income right which is calculated here so if i provide the state as uh, maybe ny it's going to say it's going to return the value this statement is going to retrieve the value called 9 and 9 divided by 100 then it's going to say 0 0.09 right and then multiplied by cross so this gives us the value to be subtracted from the remaining net right so then it's going to work and if it's taxes it's this statement is going to be uh, zero and we will get the net income right so then i'm just printing out your net income after all the heavy taxes is the net income we cast it in string so we learn a lot of lot of concepts right we learn about the uh, dictionaries we learn about some mathematical multiplication subtraction then we learn about if and then we learn about the in keyword then again some more mathematical expression and then some uh, casting to strings and then we return the net value so you can save it in any variable as well after that we just do that if if that state is not in the dictionary then we just print state is not in the list or you provided incorrect state or anything you want to do and then we return the none keyword right so basically it's null in other languages a lot of languages but we return the none keyword so in python because it's dynamic it's super exciting super uh, flexible we can return an integer here or float here and we can return a none value here it's it's super flexible right so we do that and after that we just call our method to work so this is an example what i'm putting is i hope everybody earns this much or more so hundred thousand and status c california right so let's run this code and let's i think i have to modify the file that I want to uh, run so method exercise is the one that I want to select and apply and okay and then run this code so if I run this code it gives me your in net income after all the heavy taxes is 80,000 why because 10% was deducted in for the federal tax and the remaining 10 was deducted for the California tax so 80,000 right and let's let's change the state here so let's see the difference so let's put ny and run the code and this time it says 81,000 because 10% for federal and 9% for state right so let's let's try to run them for all of them so let's put Texas and it should be the happy one 90,000 because only federal tax applies 
let's put nj save it what does it say six percent only right so eighty four thousand so pretty cool guys pretty cool so i would just say i think it's gonna be really exciting so don't worry about the you know, the calculations about taxes the whole idea is that we want to take a look at all the concepts that we have learned so i think it's going to give you a great exposure great exercise and i i hope that you all have already tried it so let me know if you still have any questions and stay tuned for the next lectures guys thanks for ending this one